it doesn't have to be pretty to earn championship status. If you have the courage to try something new and outside the box, your spitting power could have you walking away with a prize ribbon. And take a look at what News 10's Garrett Brown stumbled onto when he visited the Indiana State Fair. I'm Gwen Pearson, and we are here at the Indiana State Fair, and we are getting ready for cricket spinning. So, cricket spinning was invented by Dr. Tom Turpin about 26 years ago at Purdue. It's a way to basically get people to think about insects as a food source. I mean, Americans are unique. We don't eat crickets, we don't eat a lot of insects. The rest of the world does. They're delicious. Come on. Did we mention there are ribbons? If you make it a competition, people will put insects in their mouths. <laughs> walking through the building and saw it. Uh, I dared the kids to do it and they wanted to do it so I did it with them. It was kind of gross to think about put, putting a cricket in our mouth. 20 feet, 8 inches! Very nice. Whoa. They are hand selected and artisanally prepared and frozen for only competitive cricket spitting. Indianapolis in the senior men division. Oh. Uh, it's a cricket. <laughs> so we did the watermelon speed, seed spitting contest a couple years ago. So, so we're moving up. We've moved on from plants to insects. So. And in third place, with a distance of 23 feet 4 inches, we have Rick Watson from Indianapolis. I, I really didn't even pay attention that it was a cricket. I just put it in there and spit it back out. <laughs> well, just, it was really fun. I really liked it, and I want to do it again. What do you think? Would you do it? Oh, I don't think I could. I think I could do it if they were chocolate covered. Maybe. <laughs> but you know, like, if you're just, like, walking around outside and, like, a bug flies in your mouth or your eye, and you're like, Bleh! And then like, you swallow it. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you spit it out. Well, the state fair ended on Sunday. But uh, if you're interested in spitting some crickets, go to WTHITV.com. The Purdue Bug Department will hook you up.